I'll report on the Hatches in Hoima and uh, brings for you this big story for now. Almost a month ago, Clamour's celebration and jubilation made up the 72nd graduation at Makere University. But beyond the Clamour celebration and jubilation, the country celebrated a major milestone. 52% of the 12,000 graduates were female, a key milestone for Agenda 2030 and SDG 5 and 4 of gender equality and empowerment of all women and girls and quality education, respectively. When we come to issues to do with discrimination, we are talking about discrimination against the girl child, discrimination against the, 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 what? the, the, the females. But if you observe, NRM has done so well that the girl child, the woman has gained self-esteem whether educated or illiterate. And that's why you see women are taking over in most of these areas. In terms of education, when you saw Makerere, the, the, the graduations we've had, there were more women than men. When you look at the dropout rates in primary schools, there are now more dropouts for the boys than the girls in most of the parts of the UN Women, a women empowerment agency of the United Nations, has been a key partner to the government in ensuring that Goal 5 is achieved and the entity has fostered that agenda in many ways as Julia Chen, program specialist at the UN Women Gulu Sub Office, explains. You, the UN Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework that is supporting the government of Uganda to implement the NDP3, and we are happy that the cooperation framework is also aligned with gender equality principles. We have provided financing and technical support to advance gender equality in Uganda. We have transformed lives of vulnerable people, girls, through you, CSOs, uh, departments of, and, and ministries, through our mainstream program under women economic empowerment and the violence against women. However, despite the success story of women empowerment, the state minister for general duties in the office of the prime minister, Honorable Justin Kasule Lumumba, says the country risks a clumsy future if similar synergies are not directed towards the empowerment of the boy child. The girl is also, the community took it up and prepared the girl more for, for taking up marriage, taking up challenges in life, taking up challenges in the future, and less attention has been paid to the boy. And yet, the boy is the head of the family. So if we don't tighten the nut, especially on the boy child, who is supposed to be the head of the family, the family is the smallest unit of community. We shall not be doing much as a, as a country. The minister made the remarks at the National Annual SDG Conference Precursor Regional Forum in Hoima City, an initiative that has been described as localizing SDGs at the local level. According to the United Nations, the initiative is aimed at infusing the global agenda into local government plans as well as people for a sustainable future. All development goals and cater should be localized, regularly monitored, and periodic progress reports produced to inform decision making at the local level. The localization of the SDGs, as has been described, has so far been initiated in 80 districts in western and eastern parts of the country through regional SDG fora according to the head of the SDG secretariat in the office of the Prime Minister, Dr. Albert Biamchia. Eight districts where we have created awareness to all of the district leaders, councillors, and technical people at the, at the district level on sustainable development goals. And now we are trying to build the capacity, so can you share especially in assessing, districts in assessing their performance for SDGs. And uh, if they follow it periodically, they should be making assessment and review themselves how far they have gone as far as the SDGs are concerned. With seven years now gone and eight years left on the 2030 UN agenda calendar, the race is on to have the Sustainable Development Goals achieve their intended purpose and with key milestones and right partnerships already achieved and visible, the optimists are hopeful the UN agenda will deliver in entirety. Robert Indiam Hachi for BTM News Today.